In this video, I want to show you how to set up GA4 Begin Checkout event with parameters on our website with Google Tag Manager. So let's see how to do that. This is my website. I will set up the tag on this website with Google Tag Manager for this GA4 account. In the beginning, I will go to Google Tag Manager preview mode. So go to Google Tag Manager and click on preview. Enter here your website URL and click on connect. Tag assistant connected. Let's check out a product. I will check out this product. Then add to card. Then view card. Then proceed to check out. Now let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue. If I select here begin checkout and go to data layer. Then we will get all the information of the product that we have just checked out. Now let's know which information we should pass from our website to Google Analytics with the event of begin checkout. I have a tab open for you which is GA4 documentation. If I select from the list begin checkout then we will see it says to send as parameters currency, value, coupon and items. But the coupon is not required. If you have applied a coupon code on your website then you can send it with the begin checkout event. We will just send currency, value and items. Now we should create variables for currency, value and items. If you have watched my previous videos, then you should know the way to create variables for currency, value and items. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will give the link of the video in the description for you. But here the value parameter is a little bit different. So we have created a variable for this value so let's go to google tag manager and then go to variables from user defined variables take a new one variable configuration and then data layer and the variable name will be go to your tag assistant tab and copy from here e-commerce and then copy value go to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce then dot then value then give the variable a name. I'm going to name it item value. Then save. Now let's create a trigger for the event. Go to trigger section. Then click on new. Trigger configuration big button and choose from here custom event. And the event name will be go to your tag assistant tab and from the top of the data layer you will get the event name. So copy it and paste here begin checkout and give the trigger a name i'm going to name it begin checkout then save now let's create the tag so go to tag section and then take a new tag then click tag configuration big button and google analytics google analytics ga4 event and put here measurement id i have created a variable for measurement id so i'm going to paste here that ga4 id and the event name will be begin checkout like we have copied a while ago so paste it now let's configure the parameters so go to event parameters and we need here three parameters so click on add parameter and the event parameter name will be exactly what ga4 has given us so go to ga4 documentation and copy from here currency and then value and then items go to google tag manager and paste here items then value then currency and the value of the parameter items will be the variable that i have created in the previous video so i'm going to put here that variable here you go items and then value item value and the value of currency will be the parameter currency now simply go to triggering click on triggering and select from here begin checkout and give the tag a name i'm going to name it j4 begin checkout then save our tag is ready now it's time to check if it's working properly so i will go to preview mode again and along with i will go to google analytics for account and then from here admin section and then go to debug view now i will go to google tag manager preview mode our tag is it and connected now let's check out a product add to card then view card then proceed to check out now let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue we can see here 
our jf4 begin checkout tag is fired one time that means our begin checkout tag is working now let's see in the jf4 debug view also here we go our begin checkout tag is also coming here if i click here and go to parameters then we will see the currency and the value uh, etc so we can say our tag is working properly now on the end we should publish the google tag manager version otherwise the tag will not be working in the real cases so submit it and give this version a name i'm going to name it begin checkout and then publish so that's it in this video if you have any question or suggestion feel free to write down in the comment box i will reply that as much as possible and if you need my service then i'm a professional freelancer working on fiverr and also working on upwork i'm providing my services on these marketplaces you can place an order here otherwise you can contact me on this whatsapp number or on this gmail and if you found this video useful don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel so see you in another video until then goodbye thank you so much